I've been doing video for about four and a half years now, only because of YouTube, like it's not my background or anything, but I've, I've only recently started using presets. Please don't, don't judge me. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and in this tutorial I'm gonna beg you if you do any video work to start using presets you will save hours of your life. You will get so much time back. I feel like such a fool for not just sitting down and learning this sooner. I've been doing video for about four and a half years purely because of YouTube. Like I say, it's not my background but using presets you can define like literal presets for things that you do often. And of course with tutorials, I have the same audio setup, mic just above my head, same kind of color effects, color grading that I use on my videos, same setup, same everything. And I've been doing it so manually for such a long time where I would like copy the effects and paste them from another Premiere profile. When the things that I repeat, I could just save that as a preset. And um, do you know what? I'm just gonna jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you now, but just please start using presets. Don't make the same mistake I did. It's too late for me, but it's not too late for you. Okay, so you can see we're now in Premiere Pro and I've got a bit of sample footage that I'm gonna play now. Hello, yes, I'm the sample video, but I mean, come on, like he couldn't even be bothered to change his top because he's a lazy butt. Okay, right, we'll stop that. We'll stop that right there before this video gets demonetized. So, um, okay. yeah. That's a little bit of footage and normally I color grade my footage and I do the same things to my audio. I'm using a Rode NTG 4 Plus shotgun mic and there's a few different things I do to the audio but it's the same every time. So it makes sense to set these things up as presets. So if you go up to window, down to effects, you can see I've got mine turned on. It's actually, it's actually tucked away in this little double arrow here. You can see effects. If I just collapse this, it looks something like this by default, lots of transitions and video effects. And then we've got presets at the top. And you can actually see I've created my own Dansky folder. All of these different presets, all of which now save me so much time. Again, just kind of take a moment to beg you to please use presets. Don't make my mistake. So uh, what I do with my audio is I've defined a preset for the, this microphone. And I just drag this onto my audio on the timeline. And I've also defined my color grading for the Sony a7 III that I'm using. Drag that, video's color graded correctly. Oh, okay, I'm in Photoshop. I need to be in the corner of the window. It puts me in the corner of the window. Normally this would take me a few minutes to do. Now it literally takes me seconds. So let's undo all that. So what I would do is I would select my footage here. We're gonna color grade this. I'm just gonna kind of do this really quickly. So, whew, there we go. Brilliant, looks fantastic, I love it. Let's adjust some colors. Yeah, get some pinks and yellows. That is amazing. Okay, we're gonna do some work on the audio now. So let's just go to, uh, we'll go to audio effects. In fact, let's see if we can get pitch shift. We could have a bit of fun with this. <laughs> pitch shifter. We'll go to effect controls. Yeah, we need to, we need to bump up the pitch. Let's check this out. Hello, yes, I'm the sub. Perfect, amazing. We're gonna save that as part of our preset as well. And I think for the camera, we need to make it smaller and we'll throw it off center just because, I don't know, reasons. But we wanna save this as a preset. So if I now click on my video footage on the timeline, you can see I've done a bunch of different things to it and I can expand and collapse all of these, but the ones that I want to save as part of the preset are here. So in motion, I move the position. So I'm gonna select this. I'm next gonna hold down command or control on the keyboard, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC. And I'm gonna select Lumetri Color. That was the, the, the terrible color grade that I did at the very beginning. And then with both of those selected, I can right click and select Save Preset. <laughs> we can call this WTF. Um, we don't need to worry about any of this. You can set presets for a certain anchor to in point or certain anchor to out point, um, and it will keep that consistent on every, uh, every time you apply that preset. We're just gonna do scale and it will scale that preset across your footage. Because it's a color grade and an audio effect, we just want that to run through the entire footage. So just leave scale, click okay. Oh, you can add a description if you 
want to remind yourself what the preset does or maybe tell someone else. And it will add this in the presets folder. So we've got WTF, let's just clear the search. So we've got this one here. Now with the presets folder, we can right click on this, we can add a new presets bin. A bin is essentially a folder. So we could add a, a WTF bin or folder, we'll pop it in there so it's all organized. And then you can also right click on presets and you could import some presets if you've got some that you share or you've downloaded some, but you can also export them. So what you could do is I could click on the WTF folder and then right click and select export and I could save this as a specific preset file. So I could then send that to someone else or just keep them saved somewhere and then I could import it back into Premiere Pro if I needed to. Or I could, uh, I could delete it as well. So now I've saved the preset. Let's, uh, let's just scrub all of the effects from the video and the audio. So we're right back to the very beginning. Hello, yes. Blah, 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 blah. shut up. Okay, so we've got our WTF preset for the video. So now I can just drag this on here and you see it just does it just like that. You can do exactly the same for audio. You just apply your audio effects uh, if you've used Premiere Pro, you've got your effect controls. It just lists all your audio effects up here. Remember, just select, hold Command or Control to multiple select different things. And then with all those things selected, you just right click, save it as a preset, and then you can organize it in the effects panel within your presets folder. And every time you need to do that same thing again and you open up Premiere Pro, you're gonna have your presets right there, just drag and drop. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. So there we go. Please do not make my mistake of ignoring presets. Start using presets today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.